watch a live from my botanist laboratory. Look at all these plants. And I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but I got some miracle Grow, so maybe it'll help me out. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about miracle Grow, are we, Appa? Are we, Appa? No, we're not. What we're here to talk about is, um, drumroll please. <laughs> Yes, we're here to talk about cookies. And we're here to talk about cookies because my wonderful, beautiful, just magical queen, princess, fairy, godmother, not actually my godmother, but I mean, just the most enchanting, loving, caring, funny, witty, brilliant, lovely person. My Aunt Deb sent me cookies via mail for my birthday and they got here after my birthday but there's nothing like a late birthday present i personally love late birthday presents because it's like elongating my birthday it's like making my birthday from this long to this long so i have a bunch of these cookies from route 9 which is a company that i didn't know about before this yes i'm ignorant so let's read about them really quick. Let's do it. The Root 9 Baking Company. We set out to make the world's most delicious, gooey, messy, chocolatey cookies that also happen to be made with 100% plant-based and honest organic ingredients. A win for your health and a win for the planet. Our ultimate goal is, of course, to make the tastiest treats you've ever had, but also to empower our communities to eat more plants. What's in a name? Root, because of plants, and nine, because we use nine plants in our original chocolate chip cookie recipe. Nine plants? You could say we're dedicated to the plant-based sweet life. Mm. I'm also dedicated to the plant-based sweet life, baby. My sweet tooth has been bonkers off the rails. I gotta park this bad boy because it's been too much. But you know what? It's still my birthday because I'm about to eat a birthday present. So I thought that a fun thing to do would be to try these cookies. Let's taste test them, boys. Let's look at their Instagram real quick. Bro, their Instagram is so fucking pretty. Look at all this. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my God, this is a cookie cake. This is crazy because my Aunt Deb always used to make us cookie cakes for our birthdays. So, I mean, I think they're trying to be Aunt Deb. Aunt Deb, is this you undercover, actually? Whoa. <gasps> I had to stop looking. It was too much. Okay, you wanna know which flavors we got? Let's see, let's see, let's stop this. Okay, baby, we're gonna eat in bed. The rule number one is sleep hygiene. We're gonna break it right now. Um, we have a chocolate chip cookie. Classic, classic man. We got a, oh, fit for the occasion, a birthday cake cookie. Big old 24, no joke. We got a snickerdoodle cookie. I love a good snickerdoodle too, and I'm a big fan of the Trader Joe's ones, the like small ones that are vegan. Um, that come with, I want to say like 20 cookies in a batch, and they're so good, they're so soft. Snickerdoodle is one of my go-to cookies. Uh, they just taste so sugary and soft, and when they're, even when they're crunchy, they kind of melt in your mouth afterwards. That's a good snicker. Oh, where's the other? Did I? Did I lose a boy? Is, oh! I found him. I found the boy. So I found the boy, um, and it's, oh, thank God we found him. It's an oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. I'm so excited to try every one of these. Oh, we're going to try the classic chocolate chip cookie first. Oh, and they're, <laughs> they're gooey indeed. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's, like, moist. You can see the moistness through the packaging. It's, like, for the people who don't like the word moist, this video is going to really suck them dry. Wow, what did I mean by that? <laughs> well, I dropped the cookie, but don't worry, it didn't get on my sheets. Okay, let's eat this boy.
fuck. It truly melts in your mouth, like. Mmm. 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 My favorite um, chocolate chip cookie moment to experience is a chocolate chip cookie that is like almost crunchy on the outside, but not quite. And almost uncooked on the inside, but not quite. It kind of, I get the like cookie dough flair. On the inside, I'm a big fan of like chewy chips ahoy. And if a cookie is crunchy, it better turn into butter in my mouth after a couple bites or I'm not into it. And that's exactly the moment that's happening right now. It's so delicious. Yeah, this is the perfect chocolate chip cookie. And I love chocolate chunky cookie. Fuck, okay, I'm gonna save the rest of this. Let's move on. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give this cookie a nine out of 10 because it was fucking fire. It was fire. But I don't think it's the best cookie I've ever had. So I'm not gonna give it a 10 because I just feel like it, it gets really serious there. So let's let's do let's do the next one. Let's do the birthday cake cookie next. Mm, happy birthday to me. She's 103. I'm just kidding. She's 24, and she got cookie on her sheets. 24 year olds are supposed to eat cookies in bed. Like what the fuck? We're all trying to figure out what's good. And while we do that, might as well enjoy a delicious birthday cake cookie. I love birthday cake things. Like I used to go to Ralph's and get the birthday cake shake and sip on that. And what I love about birthday cake things is that it's always like birthday cake battery. So I always get the flair of like an uncooked pastry, which low key is my favorite way to eat a pastry is completely uncooked. Mm. Mm. This rocks. This tastes exactly like that classic birthday cake flavor that I love, but it also is crispy on the outside, which is so good. It's like a sugar cookie. It's it's literally a sugar cookie with sprinkles inside um, and that cake batter flair. Mm. Mm. Well, that's really good. I'm giving this, wow. I'm giving this a nine too. This is so good. The consistency is awesome. I wouldn't have wanted this to be all soft. I would have wanted a little crunch. And it gave me the crunch that I didn't even know that I wanted. Like I didn't know I wanted that until I bit into it. And then it completely changed me. I don't want to just eat the batter of the cake. I want it to be cooked into this thing. This thing that I have in my hands, this. Yeah, fuck yeah, that's a, that's a straight nine. That's a straight nine. Root nine, you got nines across the board right now. I'm gonna get these crumbs out of my 24 year old bed. Okay, again, I'm really excited for this one. I've had a fair amount of snickerdoodles in my day. I feel like snickerdoodles are the Christmas cookie that people would bring into school when they would make them. I remember in high school, I had a friend who would make snickerdoodles all the time. And even though me and her aren't friends anymore, um, and, uh, you know, that's not a very sad thing. I mean, we definitely grew out of each other, but she would always make snickerdoodles and they were delicious, but now I think I could probably kick her ass by making snickerdoodles. Unlike the Trader Joe's prepackaged ones, this one, obviously this is gonna be different from that because it's a homemade ass cookie. But um, the prepackaged ones are so soft on the outside too. Um, they look like little buttons of love, the Trader Joe's ones. But this one, this one is crunchy on the outside. I know what I'm getting myself into. I'm about to bite into it and there's gonna be a crunch, ready? Mm. Sound the alarm. Shiver me doodles. This just brought me back, brain blast, back to the past, bitch. Back to the fucking future. No, we are in the past. I am in diapers and I am going through my life and I'm tasting every snickerdoodle I've ever tasted in my life. The crumble that happens when you bite into a really good snickerdoodle, the crumble into your mouth, that just happened in my mouth. I wanna, mm, I wanna dip this in some like vanilla almond milk. So bad. Or some, it kinda tastes like Christmas. Like, wow, snickerdoodles taste like fucking Christmas. Look at my big hand. Snickerdoodle, will you take my big hand in Mary? Thanks. Yeah, I think that the snickerdoodle because of how the emotional response I had gets like a 9.5. Okay, last cookie. You ready? Me. 
oatmeal chocolate chunk cookie. And I love oatmeal cookies. I love oatmeal cookies with raisins. Raisins are kind of my life. Like I fucking love raisins. And I feel like I kind of love everything that people feel passionately hateful towards. Um, people really hate raisins. Also, I'm frizzing by the second. I feel like you can hear my hair frizzing. It's summer, baby. Um, but I love, and it looks like there's some like coconut flick. No, there might be some seeds in here. What the? Oh, bitch. They're literally just chunks of oat. I love a girthy oatmeal cookie. An oatmeal cookie that has a lot of character um, and a lot of chunks of different shit. And this looks chunky. See, look at it. Look at all of it in all of its chunky glory. And there's chocolate chips in it, which is good. If I could put raisins in it, I would, but I can't. I don't have that power. I don't have the poof, a raisin to the davra. Whoa. Mm. 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 This is a 10. Fuck. This is everything I want an oatmeal fucking chocolate chip cookie to be. The chocolate chunks are so big. It's so, it's like not as sweet as like the snickerdoodle was with a birthday cake cookie and like, I like things super sweet, but I like I will eat icing out the jar. But this is so pleasant, and I feel like it could really serve the masses of people who don't like things super sweet. And wow, the chunks are just amazing. There's so many layers of flavor in this cookie. And when I bit into it, I didn't I didn't expect the like tenderness. There's something tender. The love, the tender loving that this cookie is giving me is like like nothing else. And I consider myself to be in a very healthy and love-filled relationship where I feel tenderly loved often. But this loves me very tenderly as well. Wow. One more bite. Mm. Mm. That's it. That's all the cookies. Wow. Thank you. Oh. 24, baby. Thank you, Aunt Deb, so much for bringing me, for bringing these cookies into my life and for sending me cookie. Cookies are the best gift ever. Whoever's watching this, if you know me, um, and if you expect any sort of gift for a birthday, just know that you'll probably get cookies in the mail, baby, because I have never been more excited about getting anything in the mail. So excited. What? You can eat them. Out of the box. Post office snack. But for real, that was really, really thoughtful and amazing and you're supporting an awesome vegan business. Thank you for satisfying my sweet tooth and thank you for being here with me while I tried them. Um, Route 9, send these cookies to your friends. Send them to your dad. Send them to your dad's brother who you don't call your uncle because he's estranged. I mean, he probably needs some cookies. Send them to your first grade teacher. You know, COVID-19 is tough for teachers. You probably need some some cookie. Send, send them to Chris Rock because that episode of Everybody Hates Chris with the intro where they all have one piece of that big cookie is really funny. And everyone send some to Aunt Deb because she needs some right now. Send some to Appa too because Appa looks like he's not doing too hot. Appa, you good buddy?